Okay, this question looks pretty daunting. It's actually not that difficult. Let's, let's take a look. That the president manages the economy is an assumption blank the prevailing wisdom that dominates electoral politics in the United States. Of course, after you read that sentence, you may think it's very difficult and you just want to give up. The idea is to keep on reading. You most likely won't have anything in that first sentence to even back up the blank. You have to dig deeper. So let's kind of remember that on the long text completions, dig deeper. If necessary, sometimes the first blank can be answered in the first sentence. But now is not the case. Let's see what else happens. As a result, presidential elections have become referenda. Wow, this is, I know, a horrible sentence. On the business cycle, whose fortuitous turnings? Ooh, now we're getting some good stuff. Fortuitous. That's a vocabulary word. And it's relating to the business cycle, which is important because we're talking about how the president manages the economy. So this fortuitous business cycle. Fortuitous means based on chance or coincidence. So these are positive connotations and positive chances, positive coincidence. But here's the idea. It's interesting that we're saying that the president is someone who controls the economy, at least according to this sentence. Because why? Well, it says as a result, because we assume that the president has control, we think that these random happenings are actually controlled by him. And so if you look at the second blank, that those fortuitous turnings are controlled by the president. So we already actually have, for the second blank and the first blank, our own words, controlled by something the president has control over. And the first blank, something is an assumption that is central, or central to. And this is, is going to turn out to be the answer, but this is our own word based on how we analyze the sentence. This is an assumption that's very central to prevailing wisdom. As a result, when it comes to chances, again, we think, oh, it's controlled by the president. So we already have the answer to blank one, which is B, but blank two, controlled by, let's look here. We have just justifiably personified. That doesn't make any sense at all. There goes D. Erroneously attributed to. Well, there's definitely, you know, there's an error here. There's this prevailing wisdom that thinks that the president control, controls the economy, but he doesn't, so there's an error. And we think that these chances are actually controlled by him or we attribute them to him. So not exactly what we came up with, but close enough. And then, of course, look at F. Occasionally associated with. That's kind of weak. We want to say that, well, prevailing notion of economics is that the president controls the business cycle, and therefore random happenings we think he's controlling. That's not the same as occasionally associated with. But, so that's weak. So that's gone. Now, the good news about this sentence, and the reason I said it wasn't too tough, is there are more clues as we dig deeper in here to help us really back up our answers for the first two blanks. Presidents are properly accountable for their executive and legislative performance, and certainly their actions may have profound effects on the economy. You can see the sentence as a concession. He's saying, you know, I'm not saying that he has absolutely no control, but only up to a point. And so, but these effects are what? Blank. Well, only up until a point, not too much. So for blank three, you want something that just means somewhat, usually long lasting, sounds like the effects are a lot of something. And we want, again, something that's minimal, regrettably unnoticeable. Notice here they're injecting this emotion. We never said anything about regret. So we can get rid of H because of that. There goes H. And then I, largely unpredictable. So we say, oh, he, he can control the economy even though it's based on chance, but we think he's controlling it. But then it goes on to say, but though he has some control in general, the effects are what? Something he doesn't have much control over that we know about, and so boom, largely unpredictable. And so that's really what the GRE wants you to do, really take apart these big sentences, break them down in your own word, gather meaning, come up with your own words, and match those with the best answer choice. And we use all those strategies just now.